rewritten. Okay, so you've rebelled against the rules, but have you rewritten them? When you rebel against stuffy old paradigms that choked the life out of you in the past, that's step one. It's liberating and it feels totally amazing and it's a necessary movement and part of our universal evolutionary process of change that is always ongoing. Call it life, call it love, call it God, call it whatever you want, but it's that process of expansion that is always happening. It's normal. It's natural. That's why I remind you of that part. (laughs) so but then once you've rebelled against it it's time to define what rules work for you instead of just staying in that rebellion we don't need to buck the rules entirely obviously because rules just define that's all like don't play on the train tracks (laughs) okay Other rules are just not so cut and dry as that, though, right? Because different rules work for many different people in very different ways all over the world. And I'm sure you've noticed this. So just look around and see how many different versions of success there is out there, for example. How many different ways people do things and create things and how they get the same results in many, many different ways. Happiness, safety, success, health, wealth, and prosperity are not one-size-fits-all things. Obviously, (laughs) people experience those things in many myriad different ways through different means. Each one of them has a like very different rules for their life and what they believe has gotten them there to that result. And they are all right. (laughs) That's the funny thing. They're all right for them. What we believe works works. That is the power of belief. It paints the entire picture of our lives. What works for one person does not work for another person. What we believe works is what works for us individually. So the trick is defining what rules work for you and then affirming that to yourself by telling yourself why they work for you. And why is that important to you that they work that way? Because there's always reasons there. And then give yourself examples of where and how that rule works in the world so that your mind can get on board with you. Otherwise, it will fight you because it's like, that doesn't make sense to me. I've always seen that X equals Y. And now you're trying to tell me that X equals Z? No, it doesn't. (laughs) So you need to show it the evidence. Show it places in the world where that's working for someone else. That rule is different for someone else. The rules that you saw in your world that you think have to apply to you are not the same rules that other people are having to live by. They've made their own. So show your mind that and show your mind why it's important to you and show it why that works for you because then it will see, oh, okay, I understand now. I understand why this is important to me. I understand why I need it to be this way because it's purposeful. And then your mind will get on board with you. It will get in alignment with you. It will be on your side and that's when you powerfully create. But when you stand in rebellion of certain rules that you don't want in your life for good reason and you don't then and you don't and you just kind of stay in that push, then you don't allow yourself the freedom of seeing that rule that you don't want or that you don't like as just one option, just one neutral option that you could choose if you want to. And then granting yourself the freedom to choose what you want. 
and make your own choice now. Because if you stand waiting for someone else to grant you that freedom, you might be waiting forever. (laughs) So you have to grant yourself the freedom. You have to remind yourself of your freedom to choose what you want and to make your own choice now. That's all you're ever really looking for. But when you stay in the pushback, it's because part of you still believes you don't have a choice and that you have to do it their way or you won't be okay. So just show your mind that you will be okay by showing it evidence, showing it examples of others who are doing it the way that you would like to do it or similar and show it times when you have changed the rules to rules that work for you in your life, in other places, other things that you've changed that you didn't think that you could change. And that way you can just leave the war behind. Part of the trouble is that your mind sees that other people's rules work for them. That's part of the problem. You, your mind sees, okay, look, these rules are working for them. And so it's like, um, you are deluding yourself. <laughs> if you think something else is going to work, look at them. Their rules about money or business or work or career or life or relationships or whatever, they work for them. They're doing well. They're safe. See? Your mind is saying this. But all you need to remember is that just because those things worked for others does not mean they're the only things that work. <laughs> Which again, is super easy to see when you remind yourself of that. And then you look around at how things work for lots of different people all the time, everywhere, all over the world in lots of different ways. So it's about choosing what works for you and then showing yourself that that can work too. And it is working for other people. So if there are examples that you can use for evidence of that out in the world to see Use those to start and then just do small experiments in your own life in small ways that begin to build trust and build new proof and new experiences that your mind can then settle into and say, yeah, okay, okay. It starts to get new evidence. I personally have noticed that all of my desires for success or money in my life were really at their core about me simply wanting the freedom to choose, to know that I have the freedom to choose what I want. And I can give myself that freedom of choice at any time and any moment by first reminding myself that I already have that freedom. And that even though I might not be able to make exactly what I want to appear, to appear in my life in an instant, At any given time, I can still choose it and move towards it because I have chosen it in the first place. Like when I chose to have a creative career in my own business. I didn't believe I could choose that at that time. I didn't have money behind me to enable me to choose that at that time. But I just decided what I wanted and I chose what I wanted And then the trail of breadcrumbs to get me there showed up one step at a time. And because my choice was made, I followed them. We are always getting choices, but we are not always choosing the ones we want. Because we're afraid. And that's okay. And that's totally normal. But as long as your desire and your wanting for your choice is just even slightly bigger than your fear... You're on your way. You are on your way. And that way is an ever unfolding process of your soul, your spirit, your whole being, consciousness itself. And it's the journey of love and adventure that you came to experience here on earth as a human. You can always choose in the direction of your desire. You can always choose the thing that feels the most like the way that you want to go or the thing that supports you in that way or that you know will support you in the way that you want to go. And inevitably, you will 
arrive there. And it will surprise you and delight you if you trust. So stay with yourself. Trust yourself. Listen to yourself and let yourself be your own authority. All of my work in my world is designed to support you in exactly that. To support you in loving, trusting, and choosing yourself and your own version of your most beautiful life. And as always, if you'd like some help with that, you can find all of my work and ways to work with me at sunnychapman.com forward slash work dash with dash me. I suggest using that page like an oracle of sorts. You just go to the page itself and scroll down the page and see what leaps out at you. See what stands out the most. See what calls to you. Whatever that is, it's probably exactly the thing that you need most at this time. And trust that. All right. I will see you next Sunday. Bye.